हेलो सेवेंथ क्लास टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आवर चैप्टर नंबर नाइन दैट इज मोशन एंड टाइम ओके so first of all question is arising what do you mean by motion motion kya hai right i'm writing here this it means here my pen is in motion mera pen kya hai it is in motion movement right from one position to another position like a bird flying in the sky what it doing that is known as motion okay if you are writing with the help of your pen or pencil on your notebook that is a motion means your pen is in motion so now are you familiar with this word motion okay now time whenever we are uh, as particular object is moving with respect to time that is known as motion so here motion is when an object when an object changes its position changes its position with respect to time with respect to time that is known as motion clear now i hope this motion word is clear to you right okay now motion can be motion kaisa ho sakta hai it can be slow or fast so motion can be slow or motion can be fast so before starting this i want to give you some examples just imagine when a bull cart moving on a straight road okay when a bicycle is moving right when a small child is moving when a aeroplane is moving can you imagine the difference between them the difference is the only speed all are in motion but the difference is the speed in the various examples which i have given you now some objects move very fastly and some move very slowly the fast objects are aeroplane right and the slowest one is the a small child is moving right so the difference is only the speed let us take one more example at 9 am you started on a bike you have taken a vehicle bike and at the same time train also started after 5 minutes you have covered 3 km and after 5 minute train covers 30 km 
what does it shows it shows that this bike is comparatively slow in motion with this train the train is showing fast motion am i clear so with this example are you able to know the difference between the slow motion and the fast motion i hope it is clear to you so when an object move covers maximum distance with interval of time that is known as the slow motion when an object covers maximum distance comparatively to the another object it covers maximum distance with respect to time is known as the fast motion so basically slow motion and fast motion is always be a comparison between the two objects with char in motion fine so in the definition or uh, in the topic slow and the fast motion we came to know one more word that is the speed hai na and i have talk you about the distance hai na i have use a word distance over here right like in slow motion distance will be less and in the fastest motion we will cover large distance as compared to the second one object clear so speed what do you mean by speed aapne dekha hoga kabhi you have must have seen many uh, you know uh, when you are traveling in a car and you asked your father uh, papa please increase the speed increase the speed of the car what do you mean by it hai na and in between your mother said that ke no 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 it's very risky slow down the speed what do you mean by this slow down and increasing the speed what do you mean by the speed speed means if we talk about as a mathematical formula speed equal to distance upon time distance upon time here we can see as a mathematically that speed and distance both are directly proportional to each other see the speed and distance both are directly proportional to each other what do you mean by directly proportional to each other they are directly dependent on each other it means if speed is increasing automatically distance covered will increase if the speed is decreasing automatically the distance covered will decrease let us take an example if the speed is 30 km per hour and let's say in a interval of time in 10 minutes it covered you know 30 km in 1 hour if here speed is 80 km per hour it will cover 80 km distance it means if the speed increases distance will get increased if the speed decreases distance will automatically get decreased means they both are directly proportional to each other they have direct link with each other okay similarly with time speed is 
inversely proportional means they have indirect relation with each other like if time decrease speed increase means they have indirect relation with each other got it let us talk about it's uh, as it i have shown you a mathematical way of a speed so while calculating speed what should be the speed unit i'm talking about the unit of speed as now i have discussed with you the speed formula is speed equal to distance upon time right so the distance what's the mes uh, unit of a distance it is the kilometer and unit of a time is our automatically the speed formula is kilometer per hour i have mentioned this unit minus 1 what does it mean if i'm taking this is you know numerator and this is denominator if i'm taking denominator upside the unit will get negative this negative shows it is a denominator right so here it is clearly visible to you that speed unit is kilometer per hour and speed can on can also be measured in the form of meter per second again meter is a distance and second is the time means if we know the formula of a speed you can easily find out the unit clear now you all are familiar with the word speed now if we move further then speed is it of two type it can be of two type uniform uniform speed and non uniform speed okay uniform speed and non uniform speed so let us discuss what do you mean by the uniform speed and the non uniform speed the word itself says that uniform it means equal same equality same no change right non uniform it's opposite word of uniform it means there'll be some changes kis ke andar changes obviously in the speed here it will be same here the speed can be change let us see what does it actually mean uniform speed when an object i'm just writing its meaning after that i will clear it to you when an object covers equal distance in equal interval of time is known as uniform speed what does it mean 
a big object whenever an object covers equal distance in equal interval of time that is known as the uniform speed let us take an example of it let's i have taken uh, let the let's the object be this object be a train okay and distance in every five second it cover ten meter in next five second again ten meter distance it cover again in next five second again ten meter distance this is known as the uniformity ek jaisa uniformity and this type of speed is known as the uniform speed let us draw a graph graph mein this hand is known as the x axis and this one is known as the y axis on x axis i have taken the distance and on y axis i have taken the time here time in seconds here distance in meter this is the initial point that is the zero here z 5 10 15 20 and so on here the distance 10 Twenty, thirty, forty, and so on. See, in first situation, in at five second, it covers ten. So here the five second and it's covered ten meter. So here the point will be in the next five. In the next five, then here ten, and again ten meter. It means the twenty. Next ten, it means the twenty. The point will be here. similarly the points will be like this and if i draw a line over here this this line is known as the uniformity this straight line shows the speed is in uniform motion now i hope that is clear to you the meaning of uniform speed now the second one is the non uniform speed i'm just writing the definition over here first then i'll explain it to you when an object covers unequal distance in equal interval of time in equal interval of time so before explaining it let us take one more example over here again of the i have taken example of a car your personal car so in first 5 second it covers Five meter. In next five second, it took a pause in between, and uh, it uh, you know decreases the speed, and uh, it covers three meter. So, as it getting late, so it's again increasing its speed, and now in the next five second, it covers. Eight meter. So let us draw a graph to show which type of motion it is. Again, this y-axis is the time measured in second. X-axis distance in meter. Five. 
10, 15, 20, here, 5, 10, 15, 20. So in first 5 seconds it covers 5 meter, so point will be here. In next 5 seconds it covers 3, yani ki 5, 6, 7, 8, it will be like this, right? Here, this point will be here. And the next time it covers 8. So, 15 and here 8. So the point will be here. So let us join these points. So it is like this. Can you see it? And the point is the you know graph is like this. It's not a straight line. And this shows that non-uniform speed means when an object, whenever any of the object shows movement, okay, it's a motion. But if it covers unequal distances in equal interval of time, that is known as the non-uniform speed. Clear? This is, this is all about the today's lecture. That is the motion and time. In the next video, we will cover next topics till then keep on reading your book especially up to this topic that is the uniform and non-uniform speed thank you so much